What is going on guys welcome back to yet another video now before we get into the video i come to you hat in hand for 2000 likes i am once again asking for you to like this video and subscribe and turn on notifications now today's video we're talking about thorn some of you guys might not even know what this weapon is because you're all using 120 hand cannons these days thorn is an absolute beast the sniper we were pairing it with was the frozen orbit with snapshot and killing wind getting ready for that quick draw nerf you know what i mean you're not going to see too much sniping here. I was in Rumble and I basically get a quick easy kill with the sniper body shot to Thorn and then I get Soul Devourer. Soul Devourer is the perk basically where you get a kill with Thorn, you pick up the little orb and boom, now your Thorn is hitting really, really hard. It hurts a lot. Like, it hurts. I can tell it hurts. That hurt too though. That's the one thing with Thorn. Soul Devourer can get you killed sometimes. You get a kill, you want to get your little green orb and then some donkey runs up to you with a shotgun and ends your career. That is just the way she goes sometimes. But as you can see, in Rumble, this weapon is probably the S tier number one weapon in Rumble, in my opinion. Better than anything else. Anything else. The best Rumble primary in the game. Why? Well, usually you're going to be in a 1v1 in Rumble, right? You get the kill, you pick up the perk, and by the time the perk's ready to go, another guy's here. You kill him. You get Soul Devour again. By the time someone else shows up, the perk's still going so on and so forth you see where i'm going with this every single person i run into i already have soul devourer active and that's why i went into rumble because i thought this would be the best place to show off the potential of thorn and as you can see its potential is uh, about as potential full potential full it has about as much potential as the backflip that that hunter just did basically dying to his own trip mine it happens sometimes you know what i'm saying and sometimes you make up new words like potential full i, I really don't know where i was going with that i don't know what to tell you I really don't know what to tell you. So now I've got the sniper back out because I don't have Soul Devourer. Cheeky body shot, swap to Thorn. Thank you very much. And now it's time to just obliterate everybody again because Soul Devourer, it is very, very filthy. Seven damage a tick. Basically two taps someone under no HP as you can see there. I think if they're low enough resilience, they can even just straight up get two tapped. Obviously that change from 150 to 140 has helped Thorn. It's basically better than it's ever been. It does more damage. It has more range. It's an absolutely fantastic weapon. And yet no one ever uses it. Everyone's a generic Gerald using a generic legendary. Where are my exotic champions out there, man? Where are the people who have affinity for certain exotics, you know? I like this weapon. I like Thorn. I like Suez Regime. I like Graviton Lance. Nah, man, it's like, I like Steady Hand. Sorry, I just fell asleep there thinking about using steady hand in quick play. My bad, guys. My bad, dude. I I'm, I'm snapped out of it. Just like I'm about to snap out of this freeze and shoot this guy in the mouth. You should have jumped around that corner, man. Don't peek that corner at head height unless you want to get your dome split. You know what I'm saying? Really, really nice sniper. Snapshot, killing wind, getting ready for that quick draw nerf. And uh, yeah, you can see Thorn here. Just putting in work. Oof. Sentinel dead. This guy... Okay, never mind. The victory screen... Once again, denying me of a kill. Not the first or the last time victory screen will do that. But it was a nice victory. Has to be said. Really, really solid game. And we got one more game of Rumble to show you using the old Thorn. That guy wasn't looking at me because he was fighting someone else. And then, yeah, I get the perk. He gets blown up by a rocket launcher. But the guy with the rocket, he's about to get jumped tonight. Oof, right in the thigh. I think I popped an artery. Oof, that is going to hurt. Oof, here we go. Thorn, nice juicy three tap. Really, really crispy. Buttery smooth, even if it is called Thorn. You wouldn't think Thorn would be smooth, but trust me, this thing is smooth. Again, walking up and people fighting, they're putting bullets in them. All of a sudden, they're just burning. They're poisoned, having a real bad time. I will say as well, using One-Eyed Mask with Thorn is... It almost feels evil. It is kind of evil. The perks go together way too well. You're healing as you collect the orb. Then poor guy turns the corner. You're full overshield and you have Soul Devourer. You really don't have much of a chance against this. It is pretty devastatingly powerful. 
in Rumble. That being said, just because it's amazing and probably the best Rumble gun doesn't mean that it's not good in other modes. In Trials this gun's great, in Quick Play this gun's great, in Comp this gun's great, it's just a great gun and I'd recommend trying it out. There are a bunch of exotic hand cannons with a ton of potential in the current sandbox and uh, you know yeah, Steady Hands are probably better overall, Igneous Hammers probably better overall, but those guns are lack character, you know. This thing's unique, it looks cool, it sounds cool has a really nice perk that just transforms the damage of the weapon and how you play and to me that's far more interesting than just generic you know generic legendary generic legendary special like come on that's a resident sleeper i kind of have this policy myself i don't know how many of the rest of you feel this way or do this but i like to have an exotic in my loadout whether it's my special or my primary i don't like rocking up with two legendaries it just doesn't feel right to me that just doesn't feel like destiny to me. I don't know. I know I'm, I'm a bit weird, but I don't know if anybody else feels the same way. But it's like, if I'm using a special that's a legendary, I'm looking for an exotic kinetic to pair with it, you know? And vice versa. I, I, I just, I don't know, man. I just think that's just the most fun way to play the game. Because the exotics bring something else to the table, you know? Instead of just the usual normal. Speaking of which, though, that annoying hunger, holy crap. He just took me back to season 11, man. Only thing missing was a mountaintop to the face before getting melted. And Blade Barraged off spawn. It happens, you know, sometimes. At least he's using Blade Barrage, right? He could have been using Revenant, but he's using Blade Barrage. I respect it. I respect my Solar Hunters out there, you know what I'm saying? Solar Hunters, you have my respect, Guardians. Void Hunters and Revenants, though? I don't know about you guys. Don't know about you guys. I've got Soul Devourer and Bubbles. Someone's about to get melted if they peek right now. They do not. I'm pretty sure if you have Soul Devourer and Weapons of Light active, you can one head, one body people, which is pretty insane. See there, I was hitting that guy for 95 to the head. Yeah, that is pretty disgusting. That guy popped hammer, but he got suppressed and devoured all at once. Very, very nice. So guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Thorn and you consider giving it a try in the Crucible. If you made it all the way to the end of the video and you still haven't hit like and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? please consider doing so and I will see you guys in the next video. One last thing, don't forget to check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash shake. I'd love to see you there. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.